Hi, I'm Ted O'Farrell and welcome to another lesson. Today we're going to talk about the electric guitar and uh, what that means as a beginner. Uh, you have an electric guitar, you have uh, parts of the guitar that are new to you and it seems a little strange. We're going to talk a little bit about holding the pick as well. First of all, the parts of the guitar. Here we have an electric guitar, I'm playing an Epiphone uh, dot after the Gibson ES335. It has two humbucking pickups. It has a volume and a tone control for each of the pickups. When my uh, selector switch is in the middle, both pickups are active. Uh, when I have them, uh, the selector switch down, uh, one pickup is active, and then of course up, uh, the other pickup, pickup is active. In the middle, both pickups are active. Um, it's a bridge tailpiece uh, pick guard. You have your guitar neck. On the top is our uh, fretboard, and each space is a fret, which is a half a step in pitch. And then we have our guitar head and our tuning pegs. This little part right here is called the nut, and uh, so on. So when we uh, pick up the guitar, you can put it on by the strap. I'm holding mine with my strap. And then we have the pick, the famous plectrum. And I prefer a heavy pick because it reproduces uh, more of the tone of the natural nail. So to hold the pick, what I tell my students is have a fist, put it right here, uh, like so. Place your thumb on it and relax it. And then you're ready to pick. And then when we come to pick the strings, just use, don't worry about your left hand right now, just your right hand. We're going to just practice going down first using a downstroke with the pick. And it's a very relaxed motion. Notice my wrist is moving, but it's very relaxed. Everything is relaxed. It shouldn't be tight at all. And then once you get that downstroke, you can try all strings going down individually. And then you can practice doing the upstroke with the pick. Now when you master that step, then do both. Do alternating picking. Down, up, down, up. Okay? So that would be like this. So my hand is going down, up, down, up. conquer it a little bit more and say you've been working a little while and you've been able to get your left hand in place on the fifth fret I'm putting my first finger on the first string second finger on the sixth fret on the first string third finger on the seventh fret on the first string and my pinky on the eighth fret so I get that placement there and I can practice that up and down and lift up my pinky lift up my third finger second finger and first finger, and then I'll just go ascending again. And that would be a good way to master the alternating picking on the electric guitar, and you can work that up. And so on, all the way up to the 12, all the way back down. Eventually you want to add scales, and there are many scales. There's major scales, which sound happy. There's minor scales, which sound sad. Most electric players begin learning the pentatonic scales, which is a five-note scale. And uh, you can even practice that alternating picking using the pentatonic scale. But that'll be for another time. So until then, I'm Ted O'Farrell, and uh, thank you for joining me.